Uh, here we are, pretty well near the bottom of the stream reach. Uh, one thing we have to decide on before uh, starting our, uh, our, our collection of information and making observations, we have to decide what the morphology is. And in the uh, PREP riparian protocol, we break morphology down into categories such as alluvial or non-alluvial. Uh, non-alluvial streams are very common when you're looking at S6 streams in steep topography like this. And they have a very uh, distinctive suite of characteristics. Now, uh, in the uh, FREP protocol, there is a, uh, a little help card for you that sort of summarizes the characteristics of the different channel morphologies you, you want to know about before you start your assessment. And uh, over here on the right, there's a non-alluvial and a small stream uh, uh, summary of uh, stream characteristics. If you look at the stream behind me, you'll see that a lot of the characteristics summarized in this uh, little table are in fact present right behind me in this section of the stream. The uh, uh, stream bed is dominated by you know, fairly coarse angular material. That means it isn't being washed by water very much. It isn't rolling down the hillside, tumbling around and getting rounded off. It's pretty stationary. Uh, you notice there's actually quite a bit of moss present. That's a very distinctive characteristic of, uh, you know, healthy, uh, non-small, non-alluvial stream. Because the stream bed isn't moving, the moss has a chance to uh, grow and flourish. Uh, the pools are tend to be, you know, plunge pools, and they're just random, uh, you know, scour points in the stream bed where uh, the rocks are just lined up in such a way that it forms a little waterfall and the water kind of plunges out, uh, scours out a little plunge pool way below. It's not a, a fluvial characteristic, it's more of just a random characteristic. Small roots going across the stream, random pieces of wood would create the same kind of little plunge pool. Uh, one of the other key characteristics of non-alluvial streams is that there's no deposition areas or long-term storage areas. In other words, these kinds of streams, they don't have any floodplains. There's no uh, large gravel bars or vegetated islands where material that, that the stream is carried down is being stored temporarily for a long term. This is mainly a, a transport stream, and it's transporting material that's just eroding out of the hillside. The large stuff stays in place, the small stuff just gets washed away and not stored anywhere in the channel. That's, 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 that's what we're concluding.